All right. Um, the first marking period, uh, we won't be using that anymore unless you have work that you need to turn in for the next, um, for the six weeks grades. Uh, but I've already given you tons and tons of time to work on the makeup work for that. We're starting um, our assignments today are in the second marking period folder. Right here we have a folder that says Foundations of Personal Finance Chapter 1. Don't worry about this one right here that you're seeing on my screen. You guys won't ever see that folder because that's something I used last year. But we're right here in this Foundations of Personal Finance Chapter 1. So we're just going to click and open that folder and we will go from there in just a Alright, in that folder uh, remember when we went over how to edit, save, and submit a PDF file for an assignment? You had that Lesson 1 text review, and I showed you how to download it, save it, edit it, and then turn it in. That video is posted right here for you if you need help with that. Um, we're going to include some of those instructions in today's because you have an, another document to do that has a couple of extra instructions that go above and beyond that one. All right, right here, chapter one videos. There are five video lessons in chapter one, and it's gonna be that same for each one of your units that we do. You have it in chapter two through six after this. Uh, but there are five video lessons in chapter one. You can access the videos by clicking on the link below and entering the username, password, and email address below. I will update it at a later time if we need to. Uh, this is the current login information. You will need to access and watch the video associated with each lesson. We're going to do the first one together today so that you can see how this works. This is a folder. Don't click on this because there's nothing in the folder. I put everything outside the folder in its description right here. So um, it gives you the link right here and then it says your username is your ID number at Crowley ISDTX. Dot me. And then there's a password right here, uppercase H, F, S, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, most of you, um, some people got asked for the class code, and I think that's because they entered their username or email incorrectly. I'm not exactly sure. Um, because most of you, if you enter your email address correctly, you should not get asked for the class code because you should already be in. Uh, but we'll talk about that in a second. All right, so we're going to click right here. All right, so we're going to click on Foundations Digital right here, and it's going to take us to this right here, external URL. You can't really work on it here, so you're going to have to click on the blue link again, and that's going to take you out here. We're going to log in. Um, I'm already logged in, so let me log out. Uh, let's see. Um, can I use your information? Okay. What's your ID number? All right. So we put you in your ID number at CrowleyISDTX.me. You said 67122, right? Okay. And your password is an uppercase H, lowercase F lowercase s, hfs, and then one, two, three, four, five. And the h is uppercase. So we click let's go. I'm not going to save her information in here. All right. Um, you can join the course right here. And the class code is AA36AB. Now I want to show you something when you do this. We're going to click join course and it's going to say you failed to join the course. Don't worry about that. Just refresh your page. You're already in the course right here. All right. So if you click on that join course and you put that code in, don't worry about it when it says that it didn't work because you're already here. Now I'm going to click right here on this on demand course. And if you'll notice, we have chapters one through six, a post-test certification, but we start off with a pre-test. You're going to do that on your own either later on this in this class or tomorrow. 
A pretest is by definition a test that you take before you get the information that you're supposed to learn. So it kind of shows what you already know. You will not make 100 on it, and that's okay. All right, it, and it's not designed to be a grade that's going to tank your average or anything like that. It's just to kind of show me where you are and what you know. All right, the first video, the first chapter is what we're on right here. Chapter one, saving and budgeting. And we have video lessons right here. Now, before we watch the first video, we're gonna go back to Blackboard. We're gonna just, just leave that open. We're gonna go back to Blackboard. Um, you guys have already seen this text review. That's the one that this video right here shows you how to edit, um, save, and submit. But we're gonna take a look at it again. We're gonna go through the steps and make sure everybody knows how to do this. It says click to open it, download it, save it to your desktop, then right click to open it with Adobe Acrobat DC from your desktop. Review the text, answer the questions. After you answer them, save it and then attach it to turn it in. So let's just click on the document. Now remember what I said, you cannot edit in here and expect your answers to be saved. So we're going to go right over here and we're going to download this. And we're going to save it on the desktop. See mine says desktop and it's got a name here. Now, mine is already here. I'm not going to save another copy of it, but yours won't be there already. So you're going to click save but I'm going to click cancel. I'm also going to close this because I don't want to be tempted to put my answers in here. Now I'm going to go to the desktop and right here we have student text right here. Now if yours shows the Google Chrome symbol that looks like this and you double click on it, it's going to open it up in the browser. That's why I said to right click on it and then open with Adobe Acrobat DC. Once you do that, it will change what the icon looks like and then you can just double click it to open it. But when it's got the Google Chrome symbol, it's gonna open it in a browser. When you open it and edit it in the browser, it will not save your answers. You will lose them. So we've got this document right here and we're gonna take a look through it real quick before we watch the video because the video has our answers in it. All right, it was about saving and budgeting and some things for you to read. There were your vocabulary words. Here's your definition of personal finance and budget and things like that. Now, remember we had these questions right here? You don't necessarily have the answers to them yet, but after you watch the video, you will. So when you're watching the video, you're going to want to pay attention to things that look like this that are answers for your questions. You have a couple of options on that. You can write them down. You can text them to yourself so that you have a copy of them. Or you can take a picture of it. It does not matter to me how you do it. So we're going to minimize this now that you know that's there. And we're going to go back to our video and we're going to watch this video together. Now I'm going to pause the recording because I've recorded videos like this on screencast and it really messes up the whole video, something about the sound and the way it works together. So I'm going to pause the video and we're going to watch this one together. I'm going to pause the recording. We'll watch this together and then we'll come back. All right. So this part of the video right here, they give you an answer or what looks like an answer to something that might be in your student text. This is something that you're either going to want to write down, take a picture of, or text to yourself so that you have the answer. All right, this is another screen that comes up in your video that you're going to either want to write down. Notice it looks like a fill in the blank like you have on your student text that you need to go in and fill in. That's really the foundation of money. 
All right, here's another screen that you're going to want to either write down the answer, take a picture, or text it to yourself. All right, so in your, it says in your student text, complete the question for this lesson. And that's going to be at the bottom of the sheet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video now. And we're going to go back to our Foundations of Personal Finance folder. All right, we're gonna take a look at the, um, yeah, this is going. We're gonna take a look at this document right here. Now, remember that they gave answers in there. What did it say? Personal finance is about 80% what? Behavior. Behavior. And 20% what? Head knowledge. All right. Becoming money smart involves four things. I don't like that. I'm going to fix that. All right. All right. What was the first one? Work. work. You got to work first or you're not going to get anything. All right. Save. Then what? Save. Are you sure it was save or spend? Spend. Which one was it? Spend. Spend. All right. And then save. And the last one was give. All right, uh, there are some things in here for you to read. Okay, what was the definition of debt that they gave us? Owing. Debt is owing anything to anyone for any reason. And then right here, you have your journal question. Now, also in this, he said that there was some more information on net worth, and that's right here. Stuff for you to read. And then down here, you have your personal finance basics for lesson one. For example, right here, to save a $500 emergency fund, what's, what is that? That is the first foundation, okay? All right, owing anything to anyone, what is that? Debt. All right. All right, so that's how you're going to fill in those answers. Now. You have edited this on your desktop, not in the browser. So when we go here to save it, we're going to go to File, Save As, keep it on your desktop. Now, I would save it, and I'm going to ask you to put your first name, your last name, and then the word edited, so that you will know that this is the one that has your answers in it. Because what happens is sometimes people attach the wrong file to an assignment, but if you know that this is your edited file that you need to turn in, Chapter 1, Lesson 1, Student Text, and then you just click Save. I'm not going to click Save because I already have it on there. Alright, and then we're going to close that. We don't need, I don't need to save those changes. Now, your assignment is right here. Some of you have already done it, some of you have not. I'm going to ask you, even if you've already done it, to resubmit it to show me that you know how to put all those answers in there because some of you didn't get your answers in there the first time. So I'm going to ask everyone to turn it in again. Remember, we have to click on this, attach files right here. We're going to browse my computer. It's on my desktop, and it's right here, edited. Um, Foundations of Personal Finance, Chapter 1, Lesson 1, Student Text. We click on that and we click Open. It is now attached to this assignment, and all I have to do is click Submit to turn it in. At this point, are there any questions on how to do these assignments? All right. We're going to move on, and we're going to, I'm going to show you Activity 1 so that you know exactly what's expected on that. I'm going to cancel out of this assignment because I don't want to save anything. Okay, it's not going to let me. There we go. All right, so we're going to take a look now at this Chapter 1, Lesson 1, Activity 1, and you're going to help me make sure that we save it correctly, edit it correctly, and then turn it in. So be paying attention. All right, it says click to open the attached document, download it, save it on your desktop, Right click to open it with Adobe Acrobat. Now if it already says PDF on it, it should just open that way anyway. Review the text and complete the activity. 
After you complete the activity, save it on your desktop and attach it to turn it in. So you can either open the assignment or you can just go right here and click on that. That's your link. Now, what do I do next? What's the next thing we do? I need to download it. Where is the download button? What does it look like? Is it this? Okay, so we're going to download that. I'm going to save this on my desktop. I'm not going to click save because it's already there and I don't want 15 files on here. So I'm going to click cancel. Now, do I want to edit here? No. Why not? Because it won't save my answers, right? Okay, so I'm not confused and I don't edit in the wrong place. I'm going to close that. I'm going to minimize this and go to my desktop. And here is chapter one, lesson one activity. Now, mine already has PDF on there. It's going to open the right way. But if it had the Google Chrome, you would want to right click and open with Adobe Acrobat DC. So I'm going to open that. Nope, it did that. OK, it doesn't matter if it changes it. So we're going to right click on it. Make sure that we do it right. And open with Adobe Acrobat DC. There we go. Now it's going to open in the right place. All right, we've got some blanks here. You can type your name. You can type the date. What is today? 9-18? Oh, that, what, what am I thinking? 9 18 That's what I was thinking. I did, didn't I? Okay, 92718. All right, it says this survey will help you learn what you value about money. You will discover that you and people around you have different ways of relating to money. If we are not aware of these differences, it can have a huge impact on how we communicate about money with family members and how well we manage our money. Read the following value statements. Circle the letter at the end of the statement if you definitely agree. Circle as many statements as you agree with. Okay, you can't circle on here. So I put a little text box right here that says use the highlighter to highlight the statements you agree with. Click on Tools, Comment, and select the Highlight Tool. All right, so we're going to go to Tools, Comment, and then select the Highlight Tool. Here is Tools. Here is the word Comment. It will be over here or it will be down here and then select the highlighter. Now I'm going to read this first statement. You can't buy happiness with money. I firmly believe that, so I would highlight that whole thing and it's going to turn it yellow. I enjoy spending money. It's a lot of fun. Uh, for me, yes and no. So that's not something that I just wholeheartedly, you know, I, I am going to agree with. I like saving money just in case I need it for something in the future. That is definitely something I agree with. I like to be prepared. Part of that is because I'm a mom and I want to be prepared. All right. Um, and what we would do is we would read through all of these statements, or you will, and you're going to highlight the ones that are mostly you. You agree with them a whole lot. When you get down here, it says to add up the number of times you circled each letter and write your totals below. So every A that I circled, I would count. It looks like I circled a C and a B up here, but there would be other, other things by the time I was done. And remember, 19 and 20 are down here. So I don't, at the, at the moment, we need to change back to our text. Change back to text, okay? Right here. At the moment. I would put a number one in the B and a number one in the C because that's all I answered so far. But you will have more numbers. Now, down here it says, what do each of these categories mean in regards to how you value money? Um, I noticed that whenever I did the whole thing, I actually chose more of the letter C than anything else. So I'm going to switch back to my highlighter because my C would probably be the biggest one. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to highlight this one right here. It says, if you circle three or more C's, you view money itself as unimportant, but you recognize it helps you get the things you need and want. All right, so that's how you highlight. 
Now, when you're done with the highlighter, you're going to click right here where it says comment, and you're going to go back to the document. And when you go back to the document, you have some questions to answer down here. How can your money values affect how you manage your money? Use those lines to answer. And then there are two, three, three more, uh, three more questions. You have four questions total to answer. Now, we're, we're going to pretend that we're finished. What do I need to do with this now? Save it. All right. How do I save it? Where do I go? File. File. Save as. Save as. All right. Where am I going to put it? On my desktop. Now, what do I want to put in the file name? Hey. Janita Morav, that's right. And then the word what? Hey. Edited. All right. Now, and I'm going to save it on the desktop like that. I already have it on my desktop. I'm not going to save it again. So I'm clicking cancel, but you would click save. Now we're done with it, so I'm going to close that. Um, I don't need to save the changes to that. All right, now we're going to go back to Blackboard. Here is our activity where we need to turn it in. How do I turn this in? Press it. All right, so we're going to go to the activity. Go to attach files. Attach files right here. Browse my computer. All right, we're on the uh, desktop. The Activity 1 is right here, so we would just click on it and open it. It's attached to the lesson. Now what do I do to submit it? Uh, click Submit, and that will turn it in. I'm not going to click Submit on mine, but in order for you to turn yours in, that's what you would do. All right, at this point, are there any questions on how to use the highlighter or anything like that? Remember that you can go back to this video if you need to. You can pause it. You can stop it. Whatever you need to do, flip back and forth until you figure out what you're doing there. Now, um, I want you today to make sure that you go to this Foundations Digital. Remember that it's the link is right in here on this folder. You'll click Foundations Digital. You're going to put in your ID at CrowleyISDTX.me. This is your password. You don't have to join the class. Uh, you should already be joined and you should be able to go there all automatically. Your password uppercase, uppercase H, lowercase F, lowercase S, 12345. HFS 12345 and the H has a capital. All right, when you get in there, um, now we watched a video, so I'm going to have to click right here where it says back to course. Um, when you're viewing the course, you're going to start with the pretest, and after you do that, um, tomorrow you will have the videos uh, for, well, right here. We'll just show you what it looks like. Tomorrow you will do Lesson 2, Cash in the Bank, and Lesson 3, A Money Plan. I expect you to get through Lesson 2 tomorrow. I don't expect you to get completely through with Lesson 3. But if you get completely through with Lesson 2, then you need to at least start Lesson 3. Are there any questions about what you need to do? All right, let me stop this.